I'm afraid that is uh, more than they deserve, probably. But there is the lineup, eight athletes. Lanzicott in lane seven. Well, a very good athlete, coached by Jonas Twyadudu, previously by Lorna Booth and Joseph Felix. Won a heat in a personal best of 11.17. A lot of attention, of course, will be focused on Svoboda here, who set that national record in her semi-final, 11.17. She's only lost, she only lost one race all last winter. She came here as world number three, but now she's world number five after some fabulous running in this semi-finals. She ran in Amsterdam last week, but only in the European Championship uh, four by 100 meters races to keep her powder dry, so to speak, for this week's campaign. Looks mature beyond her years, doesn't she, uh, Svoboda? Yeah. Anna Briar, well, third in her semi-final in 11.39. That was uh, a personal best with a wind limit, wind right on the limit of plus two meters per second. But she's done so well to get through to this final. The American youngsters, shy and retiring as ever. There is Briar. Not an ideal lane draw, bring out on the uh, outside of the uh, rank. She goes in two, the 18 year old. A lot of people in Swansea will be rooting for her. Mercy Anti Obong of Nigeria. Fourth in her semi final, 11.58 will give her Briar a really good, realistic target to battle with. Candice Hill, championship record holder now after 11.12s, did the sprint double at the World Youth last year in Cali, set a world under 18 best of 11.08 in that competition. Khalifa sent four, coached by Atto Bolden, goes in five. Then uh, Eva Swoboda goes in lane six. Listen to that roar. She's not a shy young thing either, is she? <laughs> Imani Lara Lenzikot of Great Britain then in lane seven. Nice smile from her. Can she spring a surprise here? 11.24 in her semi-final. Her personal best coming when she won a heat in 11.17. Evelyn Rivera of Colombia there goes in eight. And Im Iman Issa Jassim goes in lane nine. Bahraini in every respect an outsider with 11.58 in her semi-final. Well, Dina Rasha Smith won this title two years ago in Eugene. Jody Williams back in 2010, taking gold as well. She uh, added a silver in the 200 to that, did Jody Williams. And back in 2008, Ashley Nelson took a bronze. The Great Britain have a good tradition in this event. Dina Rasha Smith, of course, sprinting to European Senior Championship gold over 200 metres just last week. A couple of weeks ago, I suppose, now. But there will be such a roar here. If Svoboda can get amongst the medals or indeed take the title. The lineup again from the inside. In two is Briar of Great Britain. And Tiro Bong of Nigeria in three. Candice Hill of USA in four. Watch her. Khalifa St. Fort goes in five for Trinidad and Tobago. Svoboda in six for Poland. Lanzicott, Great Britain, seven. Rivera, Colombia, eight. Jassim Bahrain nearest the camera in lane nine. Well, St. Fort keeps very low indeed. Svoboda quick out of the blocks, leading at the moment, but going well at the moment is Candice Hill. Candice Hill and Svoboda battling at the moment. Hill's going to take it. Svoboda second, St. Fort third there. That's the one, two, three. And the championship record has gone again. 11.08 with a marginal following win, plus 0.9. There was no denying Candice Hill there. A championship record at 11.12 in a semi final. That with a maximum legal lead, a uh, wind behind her. But there, 11.07, Martin. That is the quickest time in the world this year. And indeed, it puts her eight on the all-time world under 20 rankings. There was absolutely no denying the American there. What a session they've had. Their third gold of the session for the USA. Svoboda did everything that could have been asked of her, but it wasn't quite enough on the night. Yes, 11.07 puts her alongside an Olympic gold medalist, Bianca Knight, who picked up a relay gold in 2012. Inevitable, there was a lot of attention on the Polish girl, Eva Svoboda, carrying the hopes of the host nation, but Candice Hill came into this final as the outstanding favourite, and uh, well, she's almost romping 
down that home straight. Svoboda, decent run, very good run there in fourth place by Imani Lara Lansiquo there of Great Britain. Quite a long way behind the winner, but she did come through in fourth place. So that's an outstanding achievement there by the Britain. But uh, Candace Hill, yes, yeah, she uh, removes the name of Veronica Campbell-Brown, two-time winner of the Olympic 200-meter title and a former world 100-meter champion as the holder of the championship record. So I think it's fair to say that this young lady, Candace Hill, who we have seen before at this level, could well go on to be a big name in global sprinting. That's the sixth time the USA have taken gold in this discipline. They've had to wait a little while. Jennifer Tarmo, back in 2008, taking gold in front of uh, Ashley Nelson of Great Britain. Other American champions, Ashley Owens, whatever happened to her back in 2004. Lauren Williams in 2002. Shakedia Jones in 1998. I'm not sure I remember that name too much at senior level. Sabrina Kelly, likewise, won in 94 for the USA. Isn't it amazing the number of youngsters who uh, reach the highest heights in their age categories, as does Candice Hill today, 11.07 from Savoda at St. Fort, but who don't make it through as...